Hi there, Internet. My name's Court. You've got courtside seats for my review of West Side Story. Let's do it. West Side Story is a crime romance musical from director Steven Spielberg and 20th Century Studios. The film stars Rachel Zegler, Ansel Elgort, Ariana DeBose, David Alvarez, Rita Moreno, Mike Faist, Josh Andre Rivera, Corey Stoll, and Brian Darcy James. An adaptation of the 1957 musical, West Side Story explores forbidden love and the rivalry between the Jets and the Sharks, two teenage street gangs of different ethnic backgrounds. I'm not a huge musical guy. There are a couple that I love, West Side Story being one of them. I grew up with it, my introduction to it being when I was but a wee lad of about 10. A friend of mine was in a high school production of it, saw it, loved it. I'm also a big Spielberg fan. The guy's done nearly every genre, drama, Period piece, horror, comedy, action, adventure, sci-fi, noir, the list goes on. But he never tackled a musical. Plus, apparently, he's been wanting to make this thing since he was like a kid. So yeah, I was really curious about it. And I gotta say, he knocked it out of the park. I honestly think this is one of the best movies of the year so far, and I've no doubt it's gonna get a lot of Oscar attention. Now let's talk about the cast first. Depending on whom you talk to, some might say that Rita Moreno, and more on her later, is the biggest name in this ensemble, but I think casual moviegoers today would probably point to Ansel Elgort as being the biggest movie star in this flick, and I have to say he's kind of the weak link in the chain. Not to say that he's bad, though there are a couple moments towards the end where I felt he was really overcooking it, but as the male lead, I found that he paled in comparison to the rest of the cast. He just wasn't that charismatic. And the dude can sing, I mean, he hits every note, but his singing voice, while technically on point, it just kind of lacks character, particularly when paired with all these, like, Broadway people. It felt like when you go to karaoke and someone's, like, nailing an Adele song, but it's still not Adele, you know what I mean? The Rita Moreno, who played Anita in the original film, she comes back as a new character, or not exactly a new character, but you'll know what I mean when you see it. And she's absolutely wonderful. She's got maybe four or five scenes, she crushes all of them. David Alvarez, who I was not familiar with, he's also really great as Bernardo. He's got this machismo, but an incredible gift for dance. And I couldn't take my eyes off the guy. Ariana DeBose as Anita is yet another staggering performance. She imbues her character with this really infectious, flirtatious quality. She has crazy singing pipes, great comic timing, and she handles all the dancing like impeccably. But the standout here is newcomer Rachel Zegler, who plays Maria. This is her first film credit, and it's a Spielberg one at that, which is just cool. And honestly, if people actually do go see this movie, I think she will become a movie star in very short order. She's an absolute marvel. Her singing, her acting, her dancing all absolutely blew me away. Kudos to the Spielberg casting crew for finding this woman. And she has moments where she's essentially repeating the same lines that Natalie Wood had in the original, but she makes them her own. The director of photography, Janusz Kaminski, who's worked with Spielberg for a long time, he's got some incredible work in here. He does some amazing things with the camera, particularly this opening tracking shot, and the lighting and shadows are used to great effect. I also love the choreography in here, even though I know nothing about dance. It's visceral, it's fun as hell, and while 1950s teenage street gangs kind of dance fighting has always seemed a little weird to me, the violence in this flick is no joke. I'm not saying it's crazy bloody or anything, but there's an impact and a brutality to it that was not so much in the original movie. Now, I'm not sure if they shot this movie entirely on location. It does seem like they did some location stuff, but I would guess a lot of this was done on set, and it looks so good. I will say for West Side Story purists, there are a couple songs here that are out of order from the original show. They've been shuffled around a bit, and at least one song was given to a different character to sing. All of that worked fine for me, but some people may not like it. Really, the only thing I didn't love about this movie, Ansel Elgort aside, was the length. Because I really felt it. Not that it was ever slow, the movie's always moving, but at over two and a half hours, I did find myself getting a little bit antsy at times. Still, I highly recommend this version of West Side Story. It was so beautifully done and sung and acted and choreographed and shot. I also absolutely think it's worth seeing in theaters if you're able and comfortable to do so. It's big, it's bold, and having that big wicked sound system will really enhance the experience. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give West Side Story, and I think I'm gonna give West Side Story a... Stay cool, Brad. Stay cool. Out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen West Side Story? What did you think about it? What's your favorite musical movie of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. it. Just helps the video reach more people, helps the channel grow, I appreciate it very much. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.